Good morning. I just thought I'd take a second and make a video on how to run Windows 10 on one of the new M1 Macs. Uh, <clears throat> took me a little bit of time to figure it out, um, but it's really not that hard. Um, so it won't be a long video. But basically all you have to do is uh, download the technical preview of Parallels, which is free. You can just download it and use it. They uh, give you either a serial number or an activation key that you can use. Um, mine said it was good until March 17th, so that's a good three and a half months of free use. <clears throat> and um, I went ahead and installed um, Windows 10 and Ubuntu server just to try them both out. And honestly, they're both running really good, really well. Um, the other thing you need to do to do this is you need to download, um, there's, <clears throat> sorry, there's a Hyper-V VHDX, um, I guess it's an export, uh, so you don't even have to install Windows 10, but if you just download this, it downloads the VHDX, um, and if you have the new Parallels Technical Preview installed, you can just double click that VHDX and it starts Windows 10 automatically. Uh, creates a user account for you, integrates with your Mac, and all that stuff. Um, personally, I think Parallels is an acquired taste the way that uh, it integrates so much. I think some people like virtual machines to stay a little bit more in a box and less integrated, but um, right now that's, I think, the only virtualization you can have on an M1 Mac, so it's not bad. Um, yeah. Yeah, everything runs really well. Um, it's pretty awesome. So that's really all there is to it. Um, installing Parallels is straightforward. Um, double clicking the VHDX is obviously pretty straightforward. So that's all there is to it. I hope this helps somebody and hope you're having a great day.